I'm the most stupid guy on the planet. Oh, oh that hurts so much. I can't explain. Oh, how can you be so stupid, man? I'm the most stupid guy on the planet. Let me go a bit back in time for you to understand what went through my mind in this exact moment. So, I started doing videos about two years ago on a few trips over the Alps. At first I only filmed with a GoPro. And after a year I bought myself a drone. And eventually a proper camera. And now, only one year later I have to say that I already broke every single piece of my gear. It all started on my 3800 km bikepacking journey from Germany to Lisbon in the end of 2021. I mean, I crashed my drone and camera multiple times on the way, but so far I was lucky that it didn't break. at least until I reached the coast of Portugal. There I had the glory idea to film myself surfing. No one else is in the water! A really bad idea, because when the first wave hit me, the GoPro slipped out of my hand and sank down in the wide ocean within a split second. So the GoPro was the first loss I had to accept. The very next trip we went on would be our trekking expedition in the Himalayas in Nepal. On this trip, I collected probably some of the coolest drone shots I've ever taken in some of the remotest areas we've ever been at. And on one of our last days, on our highest peak, the 5500 meter Yala peak, I took out the drone, even though we were super exhausted. And despite knowing that these drones aren't meant to fly above 5000 meters, I let it fly and it sunk down in a steep north face right below the peak. And with the drone I lost all the footage of a three weeks Himalaya expedition. I could only save a few clips in very low quality. And now I was there, sitting above this rocky couloir, realizing how stupid I was. I just lost my 2000 euro camera. Put it up here for a little sequence and then I saw it bouncing down the rocks and it wouldn't stop and it went all the way down. Oh, oh that hurts so much, I can't explain. It really hurts, it really hurts so bad. These little mistakes. I think I will try again tomorrow. I'll come back again tomorrow and look it and try to find it even though it's, it's completely damaged for sure. I, I saw it crashing onto one and another rock. Oh, how can you be so stupid, man? Since I left my car on the Paso Stelio the day before, I had to get back to this place differently. All right, it's the next morning and today's mission is camera rescue. Right now I'm standing at the exit of Prat. So from now on, it's only going uphill to the Stelvio. I'm gonna hitchhike now and try to see if I can get a lift and from out there I will climb the steep rocky um, parts and try to look for my camera. Let's see if this is gonna work out. Actually I love hitchhiking. Normally it's super fun. Super, vielen Dank. Ich danke euch vielmals. Alles gut. Schönen Tag. Ciao. Ja, macht's gut. Ciao. Cheers. Okay, so far so good. I'm halfway there um, and I only had to wait for 27 seconds or something like this. So yeah, hopefully it continues like this. I will go to the end of this village and then try again. I actually always loved hitchhiking. You get to know really good people. Normally it's not a lot slower than the normal traffic and to go around like that is just freedom for me. Um, I've been hitchhiking a lot in Chile, in South America, and New Zealand. I've also hitchhiked in Morocco and in Costa Rica and North America. So ah, I always love to do that.
And if you have time like me, then it's a really cool option to try. Was ihr aus Schiffsee auch? Ja. Kann ich mitfahren? Ach, super. Ja. Das ist schön. Danke euch. Das ist Berlin. Schönen Tag. Macht's gut. Tschüss. Danke. Ciao. Okay, I mean, that was as simple as it gets. Um, that was even quicker than with my car yesterday because the cars that I had uh, that, I, that gave me a lift were quicker than my car. So, absolute perfect. And now I'll jump in the car and get to the entrance of the hiking trail from yesterday. And then it's time to look for the camera. So, here's the Paso Stelvio. And if you go down there, you will get to the Paso Umbreil. And that's where I started my tour yesterday. And I carried my bike all the way up to the Pit Umbreil, which is right up there, 3000 meters. And then I went down the other side to the lake. You can check out this video if you want to. Yeah, and now I will go to the Paso Umbreil and then I actually have no idea how I should find this camera, but I will try. Okay, let's go. Okay, here we go. So yesterday my camera fell down from up there, somehow down in this ridge. And now I try to find it. Let's go. Okay, pretty sure that it come, came down this cool wire here. Yeah, now I need luck to find it. But it should be, I mean, it should be in the bottom of the cool wire. <laughs> no idea how I should find that. And the main question now is, is it higher or lower than my current position? I'm at 2,595. And I think I dropped it at 2,850. <laughs> And I think if it drops in here, it, it will go down all the way. And I think it's too risky to go down the Kulwa, obviously. And um, that's why I'll go out again and go all the way down and then look around on the bottom. <laughs> the chances are so small. Okay, I'm now at the very bottom and I can see that it's either coming down on this side or on this side. And I think here it is too flat that it would have kept rolling. So I think if I, went, if I go up now in, this, in one of those streams, I should have the best chance. Okay, I will take out the drone now and try to screen, to screen the landscape here. So this is the place where I dropped the camera yesterday and I think it dropped down all the way in this couloir. because I think it has to be in this cool war. Okay, I think I found something. Let's see how we get here. That looks pretty much like my lens. Yep, that's my lens. So that shows me I'm on the right track. I found another piece, that's the inside of the lens, so, but I'm mostly looking for the body, I'll keep going. And another piece, again, the lens, oh my god, I found it, like I'm here now since two hours, and here it is, it's 
see if I get there. My beautiful camera. Wow. Yeah, that's exactly how I imagined it, that it would look like. Oh, it was worth the effort. Fuck, because I think at least the SD card is in there. Woo. That was sketchy. It was purely sketchy. Okay, I think now I collected everything. At least I left no traffic here. Okay, now we'll go down, I hope, on a safe track. All right, I'm back at the car. I mean, at least I have a nice uh, souvenir, uh, broken camera, something that every filmmaker should have, I think. Anyways, um, I'll show you the last footage, this one shot now. Okay, welcome to the office, and now we'll check out the last footage this camera will ever have shot, unfortunately. <laughs> Thank so much. Okay, let's go. Okay, back to the car. I mean, at least I have it filmed, but I can't tell you how much that hurts. Um, that was the most expensive piece of gear that I ever bought for myself. And yes, I'm earning some money with this uh, whole thing already, but not enough to crash my, my stuff every few weeks. So I have to get an insurance, that's for sure. That's my fault. And I never thought that I would say that, but if you guys or if anyone out there wants to support me, wants to help me out, I'll link my PayPal down below. Um, if you wanna, yeah, donate a bit of money to get for me to get myself a new camera, I would highly appreciate it. Um, but there is absolutely no need to. Like, if you don't want to, that's no problem at all. But if you do, thanks so much. You will you help out a good friend. Okay, so that's it with this video. Probably the most stupid video I ever shot and I really hope that I learned something out of it. Anyways, I'll see you next Sunday, 8 p.m. and uh, greets from the Paso Umbrail. Bye guys!